in the role project, namely the role software development kit can be used uh, for uh, learning and training. So the first case is, uh, as you know, probably some of you, the role was the an integrated project. ROL stands for Responsive Open Learning Environment, where we try to uh, support uh, self-regulated learning by means of personal learning environment. And now we are trying to use the technology developed there in some other projects, for example, in Boost. Boost stands for Business Performance Improvement through Individual Employee Skills Training. It's a Leonardo, Techno Techno Leonardo da Vinci technology of uh, transfer project. So we have five partners there, so it's a little small one. And we want to use the ROL technology together with the methodology developed in another project, which was called BICAM, to support uh, small or micro enterprises up to 20 employees, because there are many of them, and uh, mm, they have quite uh, problems with training and learning, so we try to find some ways how to support them in this, in this area. Okay, so this is Boost, uh, and uh, these are basically these are some functional requirements that we identify uh, identified in Boost. Uh, so we want to help the companies to um, find uh, the main challenges or competence gaps, if you like, for training and learning then to plan their individual um, training of individual employees to fill these gaps, provide suitable training and learning for them, and monitor it. Yeah. This is how it looks like. We have uh, okay, so we distinguish three different uh, roles. This is uh, manager, trainer, and employee. Uh, the trainer can be, in some cases, maybe an external one, or it can be the same person as the manager. Depends how the small company organizes this. Uh, so the manager can uh, identify the so-called business goals, which can be seen here. Uh, so the main or business critical needs, if you if you prefer this term. So the main uh, require the main needs or goals of the company that uh, should be addressed and uh, each of these uh, goals uh, each of these goals consists of uh, of some uh, uh, planning indicators mm -hmm. uh, so he can also uh, <coughs> assign learning indicators to these goals yes like you can see here for example yeah so he describes the, the business goal, he assigns priority to the business goal, and he can add some learning in it indicators to this business goal. And then, uh, of course, he uh, has an overview of the employees and uh, overview of uh, their progress in learning. Yeah? So, for example, this is uh, the current furnish furnishing is one of the business goals, and here are several learning indicators that uh, have been assigned to this business goal and here you can see some average values uh, of uh, those employees that are assigned to that learning indicator and if he clicks on some of them he can uh, perhaps okay so basically he should be able to see the uh, also for example concrete employees how they proceed with their with their uh, learning yeah so this kind of where they started uh, how much they learned and uh, what are their uh, target yeah so this kind of uh, progress they can see easily yeah uh, another role is the trainer where uh, he can uh, uh, assign uh, descriptions to the business goals, uh, to the learning indicators, and also to assign learning documents to those. Uh, oh. Okay, this is trainer. 
so he can assign learning uh, documents to those learning indicators. And uh, looks like the demo effect. The demo effect. Okay, so uh, this is his main role. <coughs> And uh, then uh, we have the employee era where he, uh, the employee can uh, view the uh, learning uh, documents assigned to the learning indicator and uh, search also other relevant documents. Maybe I can show it also here in you're the... Back, you're back now. You were locked out of the wireless network. Now. Yeah. Yeah, so, as I said, okay, so the trainer assigns the learning documents to the learning indicators and uh, uh, also, um, yeah, can monitor the pro progress of the learners. And the learners can learn from the assigned learning documents, can also search for additional learning documents and uh, see also their progress. I can show it also here. So this is the manager area which you have seen and this is the trainer area where, where uh, one can search for uh, documents in some repositories that, that are predefined, in this case YouTube, uh, PyChair, Script Day. And uh, this document can be seen here and uh, easily uh, assigned to the learning indicators. And uh, the employee can see his uh, progress and uh, can see what uh, uh, business goals and learning indicators are relevant for him and uh, he, he can also search for additional learning documents and uh, view, view them here. Yeah? So basically that's the, the basic idea behind this. Okay. So uh, we have some early prototype and now we are trying to kind of evaluate it and uh, get some feedback so if someone wants to provide some feedback to us it would be very uh, yeah we would be very grateful because now we are collecting some feedback and uh, opinions of uh, people how it can be useful for small companies and what can be done better uh, so if you are interested just contact me So, if I am, if I don't have, it, okay, I can proceed with the second demo. Uh, but uh, this is a very short one, and uh, basically this is a part of, of a video. It's just uh, to show uh, uh, near real-time collaboration using uh, Role SDK. So it was used for this Sync Meta Meta Modeling Framework. I will try to show it. So here you can see two navigators. These are two different users and they collaborate on developing some model. So here one creates something new and the other one sees it immediately here. And uh, yeah, also the, the operations are uh, recorded here. So this is to raise the awareness of the users what uh, the, the other ones is do, are doing. Okay? So you can create a new node, a new edges, and uh, add some attributes to it and so on. Okay? So this is what uh, this role, so the little bit kit supports. Uh, uh, it, uh, it is a kind of platform for com that supports communication and collaboration and also creation of personal learning environments if you prefer. 